Hello everybody, my name is Nico aka the Dutch Ocean Kai and today I will, will be discussing with you a new uh, Ocean Curious tip. Um, so what's this tip about? It's about LinkedIn and LinkedIn is this professional business social media type of page which well every open source intelligence researcher or online investigative researcher ends up every now and then having to look at someone's profile page just to gain additional pivot points or uh, just get insights to complete your intelligence picture. But there are a few problems when it comes to LinkedIn. LinkedIn, um, as you might know or not know, is owned by Microsoft. And what they do is they want to make it an exclusive platform so you can only view information if you are logged in um, or um, when you're especially when you are behind a vpn connection they will uh, deny or block you view uh, you viewing um, a profile page of a specific person uh, you are interested in from an open source intelligence perspective um we do want to look at profiles, but we do not want to um, trigger an alarm uh, to the adversary. And what happens when you visit a, a LinkedIn profile page, the other party might get notified. It depends on the settings, but if you uh, are logged in into LinkedIn, it will um, notify the adversary or the other party you were looking at that someone looked at his or her profile page and if you didn't set your settings properly uh, it will uh, show them your actual account so it might be your synthetic identity or sock puppet or your own uh, uh, personal private account but there's a method which you can still uh, which allows you to view a linkedin profile page without um, having to own a LinkedIn profile yourself that um, lessens the risk of the other party being notified. Uh, it also allows you to view uh, the profile page without actually having to visit uh, the LinkedIn page itself. And it lets you preserve the uh, HTML uh, markup data for um, later usage. So um, I will show you these methods and, and um, I hope uh, it will help you in your um, investigations. So now that we are ready to start searching, um, normally um, when you are looking for someone's LinkedIn profile page, you will probably go to uh, one of the bigger search engines. You can either go to Google, DuckDuckGo, uh, Yandex, Bing, it doesn't matter. Um, what we need is a direct link or if you might call it URL to the profile page. Um, for this example, I'll be taking my own uh, LinkedIn page. So um, what I would normally do is look for the person's name or nickname. And in this case, I will tape, tape my own handle and here we go. And I'll do a Google search. As you will see, um, the first hit will point me towards the LinkedIn profile page. Uh, just to make sure that when you are behind a VPN and you cannot view uh, this LinkedIn profile, I want to show you why um, we want to take the next tips and steps. So I'll right click and I'll open this profile in a new tab. Once it's loaded, LinkedIn will show you um, well, I found this uh, specific profile, but uh, you need to log in. Uh, you need to uh, sign up or at least join this platform to view the information, but we do not want to do this. So this particular trick is uh, specifically handy for those platforms which um, deny you certain information and they demand you to log in. Um, it will not work all time so for linkedin it works perfectly but for some other closed platforms which you need to lock in for instance facebook it will not work but for this example let's go back so i found the linkedin page uh, next step is to uh, copy the direct url so what you want to do is you want to hover over uh, the direct link right click and copy the link address the next step is open up a new tab 
and go towards the mobile friendly test page of Google search, which I will show you now. So in the previous step, we uh, grabbed a direct link to uh, my LinkedIn page, and it could be your target's LinkedIn page, and we copied it to our clipboard. The next step is to paste that URL in the search.google.com uh, mobile friendly page. What it will do, it will try and load that specific URL and look for it um, as if it was a mobile device. So if it is uh, mobile friendly, if all uh, underneath code could be loaded properly, properly to run on a mobile device. But it gives us some additional um, opportunities. So I'll paste in the URL. And after you paste it in the URL, you need to click on test URL. It will start analyzing um, the page for mobile friendliness. So if all technique under the hood is mobile friendly, as you will see, it was tested on this date and the page is mobile friendly. On the right column, you will see uh, a copy of the LinkedIn page we want to look at, which in the previous step was impossible to look at. But there's a problem, as you can see, once I'm scrolling, I cannot scroll further. And we want to see the whole LinkedIn page because that's important for our uh, next inv investigative steps. So what you want to do next is you want to click on the button called HTML. And once you click on it, you will see um, this HTML markup language. And basically what this is, this is everything um, that's loaded into your browser under the hood to make the page visible. So, um, but this is not, well, it is human readable, but it's not um, visually attractive. So what we want to do next is we want to uh, preserve this data. So what you can do is uh, click here on the copy button and it will copy all uh, the HTML markup data. And what you can do now is you can paste it in any text editor uh, you own on your computer and you will save it with the extension .html. Then you'll have, have an offline preservation of the information. Keep in mind, once you load up this information, it will sideload uh, the pictures directly from uh, LinkedIn, for instance. You will see these URLs and you will see um, um, references to pictures. These will be loaded into your browser and may pose uh, our operational security risk. So keep in mind when you do this, there is some operational security risk involved. The next step, I will show you how to beautify uh, this markup language to uh, the physical web page again, which you want to use and leverage for your open source intelligence investigative steps. So for the last step, we need to open a new tab and we need to visit codebeautify.org slash HTML viewer. And what you will see is what you see in the screen. You'll see a left column called HTML input. You'll see a right column called result and you see some buttons in the middle. Um, well, in the previous steps, we grabbed the URL from the Google search. We pasted that URL in the mobile friendly test page from the Google search uh, mobile friendly test page. And we copied the HTML markup language. So our last step will be is to paste that copied HTML markup language in the left column. And you'll see all this uh, HTML language again and the next step what we want to do is we want to click on the button run and once we click on the button run you will see that the page gets re-rendered re or regenerated again to a visual uh, page. So now you'll see um, the page in its hole and you can scroll through it which was impossible on the mo uh, mobile friendly test page. And you can read everything that's on there. You can see um, where someone's experience is from, what is, what is or her background, background is, her uh, educations, everything is on here. So to sum up uh, all the steps, first, we went to a search engine. We searched for uh, the person of interest, we grabbed by right-clicking the link address. We 
went to the mobile friendly test page we pasted it in and we pushed the analyze button and it gave us uh, a copy screenshot of how the page would look like on a mobile device which we didn't want to have that information we want to have the html markup language we copied the html markup language and we pasted that html markup language in the code beautify html viewer left column we post we pasted in the code we clicked the button run and it uh, made uh, an html output which uh, made the page visual again so now you will be able to see the whole linkedin page of the person of interest thank you and stay awesome curious